Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this DIY, we'll start out with two of these wall plaques that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And I'm using three of these small candle holders from Dollar Tree as well. Now you can use different ones if you want to, it's totally up to you. And here are the skews for the candle holders and the wall plaques. So the first thing I want to do is remove the hook from the back and I'm going to keep that for another DIY. And I've already removed the hook from this one and now they are a perfect fit. What I want to do now is remove the friend sign. Okay, so what I want to do is flip these over and then glue these two together. Go ahead and use a little bit of hot glue. Okay, here I have a clip from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to use it to clip these two pieces together until the glue sets up. Okay, it's been a few hours and my glue has completely set up. And now that my two pieces have become one piece, I'll go ahead and spray paint it silver. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the paint to dry on the other piece, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate my candle holder. Now it's gonna be really simple. Here I have some mirror tile. And I've already cut some pieces ahead of time. I wanna put two rolls, but since it flares out, I'm gonna have to add one at a time. So here I already have some cut. And I'm just gonna hold it and press it right against the edge. So now I'm going to cut two rows and put four strips on the candle holder. Alright, so this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to add some crushed glass to it. You guys know how much I love mirror and crushed glass. So now I'm gonna take a brush and some Mod Podge. And put some in this container. I'm gonna slide my hand on the inside. Take some Mod Podge and brush it on. Now I'll do another two sides off camera and then come back. Okay, so here's what it looked like after one coat. I'm gonna let this completely dry, come back in and fill in any open spaces with more crushed glass and then we'll be able to seal it after that. Okay, my spray paint is completely dry. The first thing I'll do is glue a strip of mirror towel right in the center. I'm gonna take my mirror towel and measure it. And now I'll cut it. I'm gonna use the Gorilla Glue for the extra hole. Take a popsicle stick and spread it out. Here's what it looks like so far. So now I'll let the glue set up for a few hours 
and then come back and finish decorating it. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is go ahead and seal this in place. I have a little bit of water in here. And now I'm going to add just a tiny bit of Mod Podge. So now all I want to do is just dip it in there and pat it on. And it's going to dry clear and it'll keep the crushed glass in place. So now I'm going to take a little bit of silver glitter and sprinkle it on. Just to give it that added sparkle. Okay, so now I'll set this aside and let it dry. And here's two that I've already completed. Okay, so to finish this off, we need to put some bling here on each side. And I've decided to go with the sheet bling. It's really beautiful with mirror as well. As you guys already know, this bling does come with adhesive on the back. So now I'll add another strip of bling on the other side of the mirror and we'll be done. Okay, so I'm finally done and this is what it looks like. And I just love how sparkly and pretty it turned out. And it's perfect to display your candle holders on because the mirror and the sparkle will reflect the candlelight. Now here's a little humor for you. I'm always having fun with my granddaughter and she loves LOL dolls. And uh, this is just me playing around with her and she asked me to leave it in for you guys. So I did, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All work it, girl. <laughs> On <the> stage. <laughs> 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 So I'll put this aside and let it completely dry. Put everything together, come back and let you see what it looks like on display. Okay, so moving on to DIY number two is relatively quick. Here I have an image that I made on my Cricut and it's of a butterfly with flowers and you'll be able to see it soon. It's almost 12 inches wide and about 10 inches long. And I made it that big because I am going to put it on this really pretty decorative canvas that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And it was five dollars. Hold on if I can put it there. There you go. There's the skew. So naturally I have to weed the design out. Once I'll do that, I'll go ahead and show you how I'm going to transfer the image onto the wall art. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera, come back and then move on to the next step. Okay, so finally, here's the design. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty, I'm really loving this Cricut. Now I know I've done quite a few Cricut DIYs on this channel and I will continue to do some in the future but I'm gonna do more Cricut related DIYs on my second channel called Creative Crafts by Beverly. So I'm gonna link it below. So if you wanna come over and subscribe and learn the Cricut along with me, then please do that. But yeah, I still will do some on this channel, but not as many. Let's get started. So now I'm gonna take this transfer paper and put it right on top of my design. Okay, so I had to add a few more pieces of the transfer paper. So now I'm just going to orange it down with this particular tool. I think this one came from Dollar Tree, but it works just as well as the one from Cricut.
Now we have it on our transfer paper. All right, so now we'll take our picture and I'm gonna leave the corners on from now and I'm gonna put our image right on the picture. So I've done three of these previous to this one. I find that the particular vinyl that I use from Amazon does not adhere to this real easy. So I put on my MacGyver cap and started thinking maybe I should add some heat to it. So that's what I did. So I ended up using my blow dryer to help transfer my image onto the canvas. So I have my blow dryer ready. So now I'm going to take my image and place it right in the center. And here's what it'll look like once the image has been transferred to the canvas. So what I'm going to do is just use this tool and press down. I don't want to press too hard because I don't want to disfigure my canvas. So even if I go in really hard, you'll see that it's not going to transfer. So I have to add heat. I have my blow dryer on high heat, but on the low blow setting. I want this to cool down a bit. Now once I start peeling the transfer paper up, if the image is not sticking, then I'll go ahead and add more heat and continue to burnish it down. See like here? See it's sticking here, but not here? And here's our transferred image. Isn't that cute? Look at that. And it goes so well with the silver that's already on the picture. So yeah, that's it. Now if you want to, you can go in and add some more color, but because the canvas already has color, I just wanted to do it this way. I could do so much more with this picture. If I wanted to, but right now I'm happy with what I have. Now, I have three more images on the same canvas that I've done already. So what I'm gonna do is hang them on the wall and let you see what they look like. But first, I have to remind you of our first DIY, which turned out really beautiful and very inexpensive. Again, I simply love crushed glass along with mirror. I think it's really elegant and glam. And the light from the candle holders is really beautiful and casts a nice reflection off the wall. And moving on to DIY number two. Again, I'm really happy with how this one turned out as well. The butterflies on the canvas is absolutely beautiful. And right now, I'm in the middle of redecorating my bathroom, and these pictures are gonna be perfect for the bathroom revamp. Okay, everyone, this concludes my video. I hope that you all enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.